Greetings to all of humanities with a joy, it's a blessing. It's always an honor for me to be greeting you and always bringing this, emancip this message of emancipation to you. Whereby I'm pointing you to look no other place but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. Thus the reason why I want to speak to you today concerning how the disciplined mind gets the blessing. Therefore, in order for you to receive blessings in your life, you have to learn to have a very disciplined mind because it's all about the mind. And the law of mentalism is very important for you to know and practice in your life. Now, I always teach you that you can create your reality and that you can create your reality consciously. Also, I normally teach you that abundance and prosperity is your birthright because your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I really want to share this message of hope with you concerning how important it is to have a disciplined mind to get the blessings that you so desire in your life. Now, when it comes to discipline, I just want to let you know that when the Bible speaks of the 12 disciples, it is basically speaking of the 12 discipline, uh, disciplines of man, 12 qualities, 12 powers, and you have to use these powers within yourself to achieve your every desire because you are the 13th one. You are the Christ, and wherever you send your, your, your disciples, your disciples would go. Because a disciple is a follower, and will follow you wherever you go. It is your thoughts that follow you wherever you go. So, when you read about Jesus and the 12 disciples, you're reading of your own spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. For it is said in the Bible that my words will not return to me void, but it will accomplish that which I send it to and pass many things where to I send it. It is you sending out your disciples, giving your disciples instructions and whatever you sow, that also shall you reap. And that is why you have to have a very disciplined mind. Now, with all of that being said, I want to share with you a testimony of someone who I realize have a very disciplined mind and the very first time they would have sent a testimony for me, I would have shared it also on this channel. And I would have said to him that he would have another testimony. And as a matter of fact, he would have testimony after testimony because I realized he is actually a doer. Also, let me say that this person who have sent me this email, which I would read for you in a while, he found this channel in December. And by January, February, I think, and March, around that time, he would have already booked, I think, between four, uh, could be between three, four, or uh, four roles in in movie because he's an actor, okay? And from that time when I shared the testimony, I would have said to him that he would have another testimony and he sent me this email. Now he says here, yeah, greetings. Captain Kojo Moses, and actually Captain Kojo Moses is actually my spiritual name. Not much people really know that. I think I would have only mentioned it in one of my books, okay? My spiritual name, which is Captain Kojo Moses. He said, I have been keeping up with your YouTube videos. I watch your video about my testimony. You said I will have another testimony soon. I was like, I will as I was watching, lol. Here is my second testimony. Imagination is key, like you said. I use what Abdullah said when mentoring Neville Goddard about his trip to Barbados. I firmly had in my mind's eye an apartment. I bathed in the shower in my mind made breakfast, slept in the bedroom, cooked in the kitchen, 
and I did everything in my imagination as if it is reality which I did a video just recently saying act as if it is this is the same thing he's displaying right here to show you how disciplined he is by putting what I'm teaching to work in his life he say I did this for about two weeks before bed and any time I wake up to pee before go going back to bed so that is why my brother and my sisters you have to be so aware and you have to learn to spend a lot of time by yourself so you won't in get too engaged with people throughout the day talking 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 and forget what you're supposed to do to manifest your reality consciously so you say you will do it for two, he, he would have done it for two weeks okay before he go to bed and anytime i wake up to pee before going back to bed so even between sleep and wake you must continue in the feeling of your wish fulfilled and continue to imagine yourself being and doing and, and having that which you desire he said a few times i woke up just before the sun is about to rise lay in bed on my back eyes closed arms at my side and i visualized myself in my apartment one morning i woke up i was standing in front of two white windows with blinds i look around the room was white so you look around the room and the, around the room was white i touched the blinds peep through and look outside so you say peep through and look outside then started walking in the apartment all of a sudden everything started to go black moments later my eyes opened and i was still laying in bed so he was having a vision he was he was breaking into vision let me say that you can break into vision doing visualization or using your imagination the times you can actually break into vision and know for sure that whatever you desire is gonna happen because you will have already gone there because time is not real okay i realized i was having an actual experience like i was actually in the apartment because i felt the blinds like it was really with my actual hands actually he was there in spirit that's why the bible tells you in joshua 1 and 3 that anyway that the soul of your future child it is yours it's given to you is where anywhere you can go in your imagination if you can go in your imagination touch things physically smell things physically count things in that realm and actually feel as if it is physical remember when you wake out of that vision it's gonna take place in this three-dimensional world okay because you're a four-dimensional being let me go on he said Prior to applying for the apartment, I was on the phone with the leasing agent. I told her I, I have two prior evictions. He said, long story in bracket there. Okay. She asked how long. I told her she said no. Okay. So when he told her she said no. Okay. I heard the no, but ignored it. You see? you have to ignore the senses you have to deny the senses because i immediately didn't believe her no so you have to believe more in your imagination more than everything and anything that you see on the outside so i kept on talking to her about my clean background history she eventually said come fill out the application but it's based on good faith. My brother and my sisters, when you believe in yourself and you trust your imagination, everything gonna work in your favor. When I went to see the apartment, I said, yes, this is the place. This is my apartment. I filled all the application. A week went by, no word. A friend of mine said, to let it go a week is a sign that i wouldn't get it i said no that is my apartment 
I refused to listen to anything else and walked away. Like Abdullah, I shut the door in Neville's face. Two weeks went by, no word. Three, still no word. Four, still no word. Then finally, the same friend and I were hanging out. He said, see what I was telling you? That please never respond. That's just business. I knew they wouldn't. I replied and said, that is my apartment. I don't care what you say. They will call me and say, congratulations, you've been approved. I can, I can hear it and I can feel how I will react. It already happened, fool. So he called his friend a fool for doubting the power of imagination because he knows that imagination is God in man because he will have proven his imagination before. Because as I said, as I've said to you before, this is his second testimony that he's sending to me by way of email. When a negative thought comes to mind, I immediately see myself in the apartment. Whether dancing as I cook, laughing as I watch Netflix, or sing as I draw, that negative thought is immediately replaced with a happy image. Five weeks went by. Six. Then my phone rings. So it took him over six weeks before he could have even get uh, any kind of reply. Yet he didn't give up. Why? He have a disciplined mind. And that is why only the disciplined mind will be able to get the blessings. So he said, then my phone rings. Hello, is this Iwan? You, re re you applied for a one-room apartment almost. Wow. Two months ago, congratulations, you've been approved. I said thank you, you made my day and hung up the phone. My friend was a couple feet away from me who overheard the phone conversation. I said, see what I told you, that apartment is mine. My friend just stood there looking. It's not what you see around you, fool. It's what you see in your mind. So my brother and my sisters, let this be an encouragement to you. It is not what you see around you. It is what you see in your mind or through your mind's eye. That is what is real because imagination is what creates reality and imagination is your true essence, okay? Uh, let me go back here. I said, see what I told you? That apartment is mine. My friend just stood there looking. It's not what you see around you, fool. It's what you see in your mind. We are no longer friends and I'm currently shopping for new furniture online to decorate my new apartment. Keep your videos and books coming. Thank you. Ewan McLaughlin. Now, I just want to say to those of you who have been using your imagination and sometimes you use your imagination for a week or two and you give up. Sometimes you see things not happening and you give up. But I'm saying to you, never give up. Always believe in yourself. Because this young man, he never gave up. Even when there were doubts, and his, even his friend wanted him to doubt. He never doubted. Because when, he said, when his friend said to him that it was just business, I knew they wouldn't. He replied to his friend and said, that is my apartment. I don't care what you say. They will call me and say, congratulations. You've been approved. 
And then he said, I can hear it. And I can feel how I will react. It already happened, fool. So my brother and my sisters, even in the Bible it tells you that the Christ, when he rebuked the disciples, he called them fools, slow of heart. I'm saying to you, my brother and my sisters, you have to rebuke all of the distractions and all of the self-doubt that will come to you and hold to that which you see in your mind's eye. So my brother and my sister, I just want to encourage you to use this testimony to strengthen you and to encourage you. Saying to you that remember, always remember that it is the disciplined mind that always gets the blessing. This same story is written in Genesis with Esau and Jacob. Jacob had that feeling. And because of that feeling, it brings the blessing. And he acted the way he knew best to manifest his reality. And that's why my brother and my sister I always teach you that the Bible is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. So let me just thank my brother for sending me this lovely testimony that I can share with you. And I just want to encourage you to use that testimony to strengthen you as you use your imagination to create your reality consciously. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.